Zambia's population is projected to double by the year 2050, according to the United Nations. This presents an opportunity for the agriculture sector to meet the demand for food. This is why Panuka Farms founder Bruno Mwemba has called on the youth to understand the business of farming. We, we run actually a graduate trainee program here and I can tell you there are young ones who turn, up, turn down you know, a graduate trainee opportunity because they hear there's no electricity here. Um, they can't be in a rural setup. So somehow there's this utopian thinking that you can do farming in Cairo Road. Um, so, so there's a radical mindset shift that we need to do on the young ones uh, to understand that farming happens out there in the soil, sometimes in rural areas. Mr. Mwemba, who runs a successful farm enterprise, says the youth can only fully appreciate the gains of agribusiness if they run the venture as a business. Government must be a bit more deliberate, targeted uh, to some of uh, the young, you know, people and 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 those that are also have shown that they've got the appetite to do this. Because if you provide some of these resources generically, you know, for people who don't even have the interest, and you ha you can't see the proof of concept, um, you find that it actually uh, goes in the drain. He has since called on those in charge of various funding programs, such as the constituency development funds to ensure that the young people and women are given priority. So if we can smoothen, I think, access to finance, um, obviously there's still quite a few challenges with the Citizens Economic you know, Empowerment Commission in terms of access. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if that could be streamlined and then targeted at some of these projects that have actually shown that, you know, they've, they've gone past proof of concept, um, all they need is now scale up, I think that that would go um, a long way. Mary Mwekisa, ZMC News, Lusaka.